Hey, what's up everybody? This is Brian Williams once again, here to walk you guys through another uh, gameplay video. I am the gameplay game designer for the SmackDown vs. Raw franchise. This is my second video showcasing this year's gameplay, so if you haven't seen the first one, definitely go to SmackDownVsRaw.com and uh, check that out. And uh, joining me today for this commentary is none other than Aaron Kaufman. What's up, brother? What's up, guys? THQ Tank here in the house, interrupting this match here. This here video that we're going to be walking you through is showing off the brand new Hell in a Cell and the improvements that we've done for this match type. Who are you playing as? I'm playing as CM Punk. Okay, makes sense. Uh, you like to go for the shorter guys. <laughs> I'm a fan of Punk. Punk Punk's all right. You know, we may have different you know lifestyle choices. You know, him being of the straight edge ilk and me being of the like have a couple beers ilk. <laughs> but uh, inside the ring, he's he's a great performer. Punk and I would be best friends, too. What are some of the cool improvements that you guys did to CM Punk? I mean, he does look pretty awesome. I'm liking the hair. I'm liking the shorts. I think this year we really just kind of nailed his likeness. You know, even though this bearded Punk is not how Punk currently looks, we, we do our best to keep up with uh, the WWE, but uh, they move so fast. It's like trying to keep up with the Flash, the marathon. Yeah, sure. I mean, you know, you guys have to lock the roster, obviously, earlier on in the design process. So. Yeah. WWE decides to shave his head and his goatee. Obviously, when you guys are locked, you can't match that on the spot all the time. You're exactly. That's exactly it. But in spite of that, I still think you know he came out great, and you know he looks good with the beard. Last ride. Like last ride. It. Oh. Oh reversed. no! Countered out of that. Really wanted to let the players know, the SmackDown vs. Raw fans, that we definitely listen to you guys. Was pleased, and for the past couple of years. It's been no secret that fans have definitely wanted uh, an improved Hell in a Cell experience. And rightfully so, because for the past couple of games, our Hell in a Cell has just not matched what fans see watching WWE programming. Looks uh, a little bigger, Brian. I mean, it is, yeah. yeah. About that. We expanded the, the size of the cell. It's a lot bigger this year. So you, so you guys also improved the animation and the controls so that like you can now flow from one move to the next and there's not a lot of stoppage in between. Oh yeah, that's uh, I'm glad. thanks for bringing that up. Yeah. It's a small thing, but it's something that definitely has improved gameplay tremendously this year. It sped everything up, but we've added this uh, breakout uh, functionality to strike attacks, to reversal animations, so that uh, as soon as you counter an attack, you know you can automatically move your character and just go in and try to follow up with another attack. Whereas in the past, you had to wait for your character to return back to their idol before you could move them. So just that small change has really uh, increased the speed of the game, made the action flow that much smoother. All right, looks like we've got our first weapon pulled out. Yeah, here, here we go. I'm trying to break his shin right there. Now, that action right there is actually something that, it's in and of itself, is not new to the game. It's been there for a couple of years now. But this is the first time that you've seen chairs uh, in the Hell in a Cell match. Well, it reminds of when uh, Mick Foley fell down through the cell and the chair landed on him. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> and he came up with, a t with his tooth sticking out of his nose. There you go. Hey, so where's Paul WWE. Bear? Is he, is he hiding under the ring there? Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's hanging out with Hornswoggle. He's hanging out with Hornswoggle, yeah. You know, it's been a while since Bear has been to WWE. You have to get to know the little fella underneath the ring. You can't have a Undertaker versus Kane feud without Paul Bear. Of course. You know, so seeing him on SmackDown in that casket last Friday night was, uh, I don't know, I just popped. I always pop seeing Paul Bear. Oh, look at that. Oh, here we go. Going to the outside. All right, what's going to happen? Bam! Oh, oh look oh. at that. Couldn't do that last year. Oh! That uh, that fence is surely going to break any moment now, I'm sure. I'm sensing it as well. <laughs> uh, so we're we outside go. the ring here now. Describe a little about what you talked about earlier. Yeah, so as you can see, just from this angle especially, the space in, in this area between the apron and the fence is much larger than it's ever been. Oh, here we go. Is this, this, is, this, is, this is new is right this here. It? This is one of our new oh. features in the Hell in a Cell match. We removed the door last year's game and you know, the games before that. We had a door that you could exit the cell, enter the cell. We removed that this year. We wanted to really put over the fact that these competitors are, are stuck in this cage together. And the only way to actually get out is to use one of those uh, panel breaking moves. So it looks like CM Punk thinks he stands a chance by going to the top of the cell. I don't know what you're thinking. My thought is just simply to entertain the fans, you know, <laughs> watching this. Fighting on, the, on top of the hell in a cell is nothing new, but we added all new grapples for the edge of the cell, which, oh, perfect timing, here we go. Oh, Lord. Where you can now use Oh, to, Lord. You this know, is throw probably one of the off. coolest moments in this game, period. Oh, that oh. was great. That was a great <laughs> angle. Great angle. And again, you know, you could do that in last year's game, but we've, we've updated this with about, 
Oh, I mean, I want to say, I think there's about 10 different moves you can use to throw your opponent off the uh, top of the hell in a cell. Oh, no way. What, can, you, uh, can you shed some light on a few others? Yeah, uh, let me see. You can super kick an opponent off the top of the edge. Oh uh, we've God. got uh, choke slams, of course. <laughs> you can literally just throw so a guy off. Yeah, you can literally just, just throw him. Yeah. You know, we have a whole sure. bunch. A lot of them superstar specific. And, and you know, fans hopefully will be happy to, to hear that you can actually, uh, you know, change them as well. Right. But then create a moveset. You know, we so what players. are your... You spoke about CM Punk having a really cool wide array of moves. I mean, what are some of your favorite moves from CM Punk here? Uh, oh man, it's I just love his. Uh, I know, it's hard to explain. He just he, I love his, his series of you know backbreakers and his kicks and his strikes. Speaking oh, of backbreaker, <laughs> I don't know if the fans caught that, but just after I got that last ride, you saw CM Punk actually made uh, contact with that step right there. Oh, look at that! That right there, and ladies forth. and gentlemen, is the uh, the leverage pin. That's a new ability in this year's game. Superstars with that ability are able to counter an opponent's attack into a, a leverage pin. And uh, we couldn't see it right there because uh, Taker kicked out. So what what is a leverage pin for all the, the, the wrestling noobs out there that don't know? Leverage pin, essentially, oh, here's the, oh, look at oh. that. Right on, oh, that's, that's got to hurt. Only physics action there. Yeah. Bouncing off of objects. All right, getting back to the leverage pin. It basically, uh, once your opponent's been sufficiently damaged, if you counter one of their running grapples or standing grapple attacks, instead of performing a regular counter animation as we've seen, oh, there we go right there. There it is. You can, you know, roll them up into a leverage pin uh, for the win. And, oh, oh, look at that. And it looks like you did Yeah, I did it. <laughs> but another cool thing about those, those leverage pins is that the defender is able to counter that pin into a pin of their own. So you, can, you get this back and forth uh, penny sequence, which you often see in wrestling, and fans will be able to experience that in this year's, uh, this year's game. Well, That's my like favorite new ability, is the leverage pin. Absolutely. I love it. And please, you know, fans out there, remember, like, I mean, what you saw in this video was just the tip of the iceberg of what you'll be able to experience in the all-new Hell in a Cell match. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you guys weren't able to see in this video. I gotta say, some surprises for when you buy the game come October 26th. Well, I'm out. Thanks again for watching. Peace. Yeah. Community, get out there and visit www.thq.com. Get set for SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 on yeah. October 26th and pre-order.